In this short demo, we're going to show you how to download student assignments from Blackboard to your computer so that you can work on those offline. Sometimes assignments are rather long documents that require a fair amount of your time to read through the paper and think about the type of feedback that you want to give the students. <coughs> so it's recommended that you download lengthy assignments to your computer so that you will avoid the Blackboard timeout feature of 30 minutes of inactive time on your account will automatically kick you out of your Blackboard account. So downloading assignments uh, to your computer is the way to, to avoid that timeout feature. First thing on this uh, course homepage, I can see that I have three assignments that have been submitted and are ready for grading. I can further expand upon that information to show me that it's students two, three, and four that are, are ready to be graded. So the way to download assignments to your computer is go to the control panel, click on Grade Center, and then click on the full Grade Center. When this opens, you can see in assignment number one column, I have three assignments with the green exclamation mark that are ready to be graded. So to download those to computer, you click on the chevron in the column for assignment one, in this case, and then click on assignment file download. Now here you have the option of choosing the students' uh, papers that you want to download. You can do one at a time or you can do a collection of assignments all at the same time. So I'm going to say students two, three, and four and download all of those assignments to my paper. You can see that student number one has already been graded and student number eight has already been graded and students five, six, and seven have not yet submitted any assignment. So once I've checked off the box beside the students that I want to download their assignment, I click Submit. And when that goes through, you will see that the assignments have been packaged. Now what Blackboard does whenever it downloads information from Blackboard to your computer, it zips it up into a compressed format uh, to sp specially package it for downloading. And it does the same thing when it when it uploads large packages of information, it requires that those be in a zipped format for uploading. But to download these assignments, you just click on Download Assignments Now. You have the choice of opening this zip document, but I'm going to save it, and then I'll show you how to unzip it in your computer once you have it saved. So click on Save, browse to a folder where you're, you'll be able to find those assignments quickly once you're ready for them. So I have a folder here I've created called Assignment 1 Downloads. I'm going to put them right in there. You'll notice that the file has a zip ending on it, so it is all compressed and ready for downloading. I'm just going to say Save. Now essentially that package has been downloaded to the computer, so I'm done with Blackboard for the moment. And now I'm just I'm essentially working offline. Go back to that folder where I downloaded those assignments. And there is that zipped package. To unzip this, and remember all three of those students' assignments are zipped up together in this package, so to unzip the whole thing, you simply right mouse click on it and say extract to here. You have the choice also of extracting to some other folder if you want to, but in this case I'm just going to extract these assignments right into this folder that I've created. And there they are. Now I have three Word documents and it doesn't really differentiate between it, it gives me the student ID number right there. So that's student 2, that's student 3, and that's student 4. So now I can go ahead and open those assignments at my own leisure and grade them. And this just was a, a little demo assignment that I created asking the students to find a picture of the solar system on the internet and paste it into this document and format it so that it fit within the borders of the box that I had created. So that's good work. I'll give the student a little bit of feedback and I'll give them 5 out of 5 on that assignment. Now I'm going to save this graded work to my computer so that I can upload it later and send it back to the student through Blackboard with my feedback on it. So I'm going to save that right into the same document where I've already downloaded the assignments. I'm going to call it 
assignment one, student two, graded. And I'll just get rid of the rest of that long title. That's just extra coding that Blackboard uses to identify files. So there, assignment one, student two, graded. And I'll save that to my computer. And that's really all there is to downloading assignments from Blackboard so that you can work on them on your computer. And in the next video, we'll, we'll be talking about how you send that back to the student with the feedback and uh, put the grade in the Grade Center. Thank you.